So, you have an idea. Is it good idea? You don't know that. So you ask around, ask people. When I'm trying to devise an idea, I, I'm running it past people. You know, I'm running it past you, I'm running it past you, I'm running it past you. Whoever I bump into, I'm sort of poking the idea past them. What do you think about this? And I'm trying to test run what my sell is, essentially. Does the person get it straight away? Are, is it piquing their interest? Um, are they asking more questions? They want to know, know more about it. And if it's not working, I know that I need to rejig it. You need to know who the audience is that you're pitching to. You need to know that person. You need to know their background. You need to know what they're looking for or what you think they're looking for, but more importantly, why? You know, why are they looking for it? What mistakes have they made? You know, what shows have they commissioned previously that have been successful? And what shows have they commissioned previously that have been unsuccessful? Be really clear, be precise, to the point, not too serious. And I would think the bigger thing is to read the room, really understand who you're going into pitch to, the network and the people you're going to pitch to, and read their faces. You can tell very quickly if people are bored and they need you to be, you know, shorter or more succinct. 100% confidence in what you're selling, to understand the show that you're selling, understand who you're selling it to, knowing your first point, knowing your end point, most important advice I can give, you know, know when to come on, know what to say, most importantly, know when to get off. Play to your strengths. Don't uh, assume because you're the ideas person that you're necessarily the best person to be pitching your idea in the room. Uh, if there's someone in your team who is great in a room, who is charismatic, who can engage people, take full advantage of that. For me, I, I, I know my material inside out upside down. I spent time learning memory techniques that I know that if I've got 20 points within a pitch, it doesn't matter if anyone wants to ask a question at point three of my pitch and we jump to point 17, I know exactly how to get back to point eight and continue on from there, which is just a memory trick I learned to do. By learning that trick, it gave me great confidence, like because it's quite easy to get knocked off kilter and go, oh Jesus, where, where was I up to? What was I talking about? And then you miss it, you know, a key ingredient that you wanted to get across. You know, that, that happens a lot. And it's nerve wracking doing these things. So it's, so it's easy, you know, it's like public speaking, you know, it's, 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 it's tough on you to do it. I'd also say, don't read your deck. They don't want to be read to. The deck should be visual aids for the words that are coming out of your mouth, the story that you are telling, the idea that you're selling. Having sat on both sides of the commissioning table, tell them what it is, tell them how many episodes it is, what genre it is, where you would see it sitting in the schedule. Tell them in one sentence, is it eight by 60 for prime time? and it might work on a Sunday night, and it's a documentary series, or because I, we get pictures and 20 minutes in, I'm not sure whether it's drama or factual, I don't know what it is, and you're so busy spinning your head trying to work it out, you're not hearing what they're trying to tell you. And the live pitch component needs to be energetic. For goodness sake, get up there, show some passion, convince people why this really matters, why this story's got something, why audiences are gonna love it, why somebody's gonna pay a truckload of money for you to make it, if you can't sell that in the room, people lean back. So energy, passion, it's insatiable and you can never have enough of it. You know, you're asking me to give you an enormous amount of money. I have to be very confident in you. So you've got to be in there, you've got to be early. If you're going there, go the day before. If you've got to park there, know where you're parking. Be an hour early for that meeting. Do your homework, do your research and rehearse. Yeah, and as you say, make, make sure your technology works. There is nothing more embarrassing than pressing play and it doesn't work. Yeah. It's, it's happened, it's terrible, um, you make all sorts of excuses and eventually you can see the other person looking at their watch way, wondering when their next meeting is about to start. Yeah. The most important thing to communicate when you're pitching is sticky information. It needs to stay in your head. Um, get a good title, it can take as long as doing the whole project. Um, get a good title, if it involves wine or sleeping on it or having a party to come up with the title, find the title because everything else will flow from there and find your one-liner, your logline, just get it in your head, say it at least three times during the pitch 
and if it even becomes a joke that you're saying it so much, that's okay. That's lovely. In the grind of making the stuff, you sometimes forget that people sort of do showbiz because they want their imaginations to be fired up. Um, and the pitch is a good time. They, they want to believe that you can take that idea and make something special for them. And if you aren't excited about it, then they're not going to be excited about it either. In person pitching, it's be clear, be confident, but don't oversell. Like something, the best way to sell something is you almost let it sell itself. You know, I don't know, people who are all over the top, I don't want to hear that. I just want calm, clear, precise. That's what sells. One trap a lot of people fall into is coming up with, it might be a great idea, but the execution of it hasn't properly been thought through. And we're not expecting you to create the whole show, but you have to have a good idea about how this show might be makeable. At the end of the day, networks are looking for two things, that big idea, but also you know, the, the vision for execution. So those two things coming together, I think are gonna be key in, in both the kind of keynote and presentation and, and definitely in the face-to-face -face pitches. I love what I call the swift no. A swift no is great because it means I can put that one to one side and work on something someone will potentially buy. Do not spend two years working on an idea. This is what I do when I'm going in to see networks. I make sure I'm pals with the assistants. A, because they're all very, very charming and B, they'll get me in the door, which is great. The best person I think in Australia at pitching uh, is Marion Farrelly for one reason. I mean, there are many reasons why I could pick Marion, but for, for one key reason, and that is she arrives with pastry. So I always make sure I buy cake. I buy too many cakes. Why do I do that? Because at the end of the meeting, the cakes go into the kitchen and someone will say, who bought the cakes? And they go, oh, Maz bought the cakes. I go, all right, why was she here? They're doing my job for me. I've suddenly had a viral idea, haven't I? I'm not in the room. Someone is talking about my idea when I'm not in the room. That is virality, isn't it? It's genius. Oh, I'm a genius. Always calm and relaxed, always in, always in good cheer, and you just want to work with her. And that's, that's a big part of pitching is, is you want people to want to work with you. Some of the common mistakes when people pitch is they jump all over the place. They, their brain's going here and it's going there, and if they're pitching to me, I don't, I don't know where they're going. Like, just, just have a very clear line. Practice in the mirror at home. Like, it sounds really daggy, but practice out loud. You know, it's one thing to practice in your head, but to actually say it out loud, practice, you know, or to your dog. Select an audience who, who won't run away and practice to them. It's really important to be clear. You know what? You've got to be in it to win it. Be brave. Go and pitch it. If you're nervous about pitching, guess what? We were all nervous about pitching. We're not expecting you to be the standard of you know, executive producers who've been doing it for, forever. We, you know, and we're nice people. So um, don't be nervous, just come in and give it a crack. But do have thought about it and bring cake.